Hello everyone, and this is Jess, and today is none other than Terror Tuesday! And if you haven't noticed, um, a very minuscule difference, I got a haircut! And hopefully you guys will like it a little better than my regular one. Uh, moving on, um, I don't know if it was Monday or during the weekend, but uh, somebody, I don't want to say very close, but very well known in the horror industry, passed away recently. Um, her name is Betsy Palmer, or Pamela Voorhees, Jason Voorhees' mother. Um, like I said, I don't know when exactly she died. Uh, I believe it was just for natural causes, um, for older age. Um, but as for all of us who really enjoy horror movies and take that quite seriously, you will live on forever through our movies and through our love for Friday the 13th movies. Um, moving on. Uh, speaking of movies, uh, I was requested to watch a certain movie. Um, by the name of it alone, I kind of already knew it was a little bit more lowbrow, I guess. Um, not necess uh, And I don't want to sound snobby like this, but when I hear a certain title, I it's human nature to judge. Whether you think you're the most unjudgmental person, you already have an idea, at least, of what something, somebody, something, or whatever it is, is going to be. And I was pretty much right. Um, I did find some a few funny parts of this movie, um, but I would not recommend it to anybody. Um, unless you're getting high and you need, or you're drunk and you're a bunch of dudes wanting to watch a funny movie. Um, or if you're uh, a girl and you like guy humor like that. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little picky with my guy humor because... And I say that when it's like, how do I even explain that? I don't know, it seems more of a male type of movie to enjoy. Um, kind of like the movie Shrooms. Guy friends love it. All the lady friends that I have that watched it, that enjoy horror movies, thought it was the dumbest thing on the planet except for two, but you know. That's why I said it's variation to whatever, whatever preference you like. Um, like I said with the title, uh, you already have a certain expectation. Um, like the movie Shrooms, uh, Ice Cream for Ice Cream, which I'll do a different review on that because that was a little bit better than I thought. Um, and like Stripperella, that's not a horror movie, but that's the only thing I could think of with like a goofy title. There's a bunch of other ones that I probably should have looked up to say in this, but oh well. Um, it's called Zombie Beavers, and definitely spoiler alert because I want to save you from watching this horrible atrocity. Um, just a few tidbits. Uh, it's so, so generic, this movie. Classic three girls go to a cabin and then their boyfriends show up. One of them, uh, their boyfriends cheated on them, so they're like, no, no boys, no nothing. And of course they show up. Then all this bad stuff happens, and then the beavers attack them. <sighs> However, there are a few funny parts in this, which made it a little bit more enjoyable to watch and not make me want to take a fork and jam it in my eye as a better preference. Um, in the beginning, the beginning was definitely interesting. Um, it definitely caught my attention, which I was very happy. I don't know if I was very happy, but I was happy that it grabbed my attention right away instead of it being super slow. Um, they have to obviously tell you how uh, the zombie beavers become zombie, which I don't understand why they're called zombie beavers and not like toxic beavers. Because the whole, the reason why they're like this is because a uh, toxic waste truck with the barrels of toxic waste, uh, they're driving and they hit a deer and one of them, one of the barrels fall out into the water. Which would make them toxic? They even, they even show the classic bright green goo all over their, uh, their little beaver dams. 
So, and I won't tell you how it starts off because that was definitely interesting. All I have to say is if you feel uncomfortable whatsoever, and I mean whatsoever about any um, same-sex relation talk, they didn't show anything and they didn't do anything, but if you get uncomfortable when people talk about it, that's probably not the part for you. Um, just throwing it out there, this movie is rated R. Um, it was... it came out in 2014. And it's on Netflix for a reason. Um, but yeah, if you enjoy that kind of stuff, like, kind of goofier, scary movies, um, it, it wasn't bad. I do enjoy how they made the blood and guts of it. It takes forever for somebody to die, like, a good 30... 35 minutes into the movie and what made me stop this movie and to start with is again they kill a dog if you're gonna go so far as to kill animals like I told okay the deer in the beginning okay if you don't if you don't like animal harm this is definitely not the movie for you because they kill stuffed animal beavers, they kill a deer, and they send a dog to his death, which just made me go, wow, that is really under the bar. Like, for me, if you're gonna kill somebody, okay, this is what the movie's about, this is what we've expected. I think it's a little in, in distaste to throw an animal to its death like that without proper reason, like, uh, psychological problems of the character, um, the character is already developed to hurt an animal, they want that extra gross factor of it, but this movie did not need it. Like, that was, I feel like that was something that they kind of just came up with out of the blue and was like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. So, you know, I just, I, I wasn't too happy about that, um, and that kind of ruined the rest of the movie for me. There wasn't very many funny parts. It was just more generic, weird, hillbilly area. Three girls in tight, small bikinis, so. Like I said, if you're a dude, you probably like this movie if you want something funny. If you're a lady and you like really raunchy, goofy movies, then you might like it. But as a horror movie, no. As a comedy movie, C+, plus at best. And I'm being kind. So don't watch Zombie Beavers because you probably have better things to watch on that long list of movies that you have on your Netflix queue. So, uh, that was my thought. Um, uh, again, I hope you rest in peace, Mrs. Voorhees, and I will see you guys tomorrow. By the way, sorry about no we uh, video on Monday. Um, spouse came home a little early, and we pretty much spent the rest of the day together, and I had to go grocery shopping, and I got sidetracked by Sims because I play nothing else anymore and I am shamelessly watching a chick show which I will not say I'm sorry for so have a wonderful day and I will talk to you guys later. Aww.